Welcome Wanderers to Sardinia, an island that is so much more than just its stunning beaches and turquoise waters. Sardinia is a land where time echoes through ancient ruins and cobblestone streets. Join me as I unravel its hidden treasures and show you what this beautiful Italian island has to offer. This is Sardinia. So I was in bed all day. It is now 4.30. Just booked my boat trip for Thursday. It's now Tuesday and I hope I will be able to go. And I'm just going for a walk because I felt like I needed to do something today and just to get like moving for a bit um, because I didn't want to stay in the room the whole day and just to see if I would be able to do it <laughs> and honestly it makes me feel a bit well um, like to go out and yeah just gonna walk up to the beach that is closest to the hotel to see what it looks like and just to have something to do <laughs> because I really don't like to stay in a hotel the whole day so yeah let's see what it will be and yeah let's make the most of it <laughs> I managed to reach Spiaggia Cala Granu, a small quiet beach where I could do a short walk along the rocky coastline. The water was super clear and I couldn't be happier being out and about again. At the hotel I was relieved I had been able to do it after those past days in agonizing pain. I'm feeling much better so I thought it is um, a good idea to check out where all the rich people hang out here. <laughs> I am currently walking to the center of Porto Cervo. So, I'm very curious to see what that would be like. Porto Cervo basically looked like a fancy open-air shopping mall where they sell all the luxury brands. I honestly hated it. of the day was Noraghe la Prigiona, about 20 kilometers from Porto Cervo. Noraghe means Mount of Stones. The ancient population of Sardinia lived in these structures until the rise of the Roman Empire. The Noraghe is formed by a main tower and two side towers, linked to a bastion. The bastion probably served as a defense against possible attackers. The central tower originally had two floors and a false dome. The main chamber was used to host public events for the local community. Further, you can visit the Tomba dei Giganti, a Bronze Age burial site of large stones. It was used for the burial of the inhabitants of La Prigiona. Mm. 
Then I drove to the town Arzacena to spot the beautiful painted stairs to the Chiesa di Santa Lucia. Every year the stairs is painted with a new design. This time it was painted by Giorgio Casu to express the theme of peace and social integration. With the woman reading a book, he wants to remember us that the right to vote in education is still quite fresh and that it is not common everywhere in the world. The next day, it was finally time to explore the Maddalena Archipelago by sailboat. It's finally time to go on a boat trip, guys. I am so happy. The boat crew and the other people joining me were fantastic. Our first stop was Cala Coticcio. With the clearest turquoise water, you could even see the fish swimming. It was absolutely stunning, so I did not hesitate to dive in. On the way to Spiaggia i Due Mari, it was aperitivo time, and we took a short stop at the beach. Then we partied at the boat and had a delicious lunch. At the end of our trip, we decided to have drinks with the crew at Baia Sardinia. It was a perfect day. It is my last complete day here in Sardinia, so I'm going to the beach going to Spiaggia del Principe. Um, it is supposed to be one of the most beautiful beaches, so I'm very curious. Um, I wanted to make this day a little more quiet, um, because yesterday was just totally magnificent. Not that I'm super tired, but it is a vacation, and I just wanted to enjoy it. It's a beautiful day, the sun is out. And yeah. I enjoyed the beach which was beautiful that day and that is the end of my Sardinia trip. I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. See you in the next video!